All right, Jero, moment of truth. Oh, God, roll. Hey, legendary H. Oh! Southern fish. Why do you win, man? God. <laughs> that was the most exasperated windmill I've heard. I mean, there's also Waluigi windmill. <laughs> there's also the time. Yeah. There's also the time he went. Waluigi win. I don't even care anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Buy stocks. I, that. Uh, I have a lot of stocks. So I think I'm good. You have a lot of money too, and you could get more stocks with your new car. Let's, 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 okay, fine. I'll see what I can do. Let me see the stocks. Plus, also, I just want to be completely honest, Jero, in the past, a tendency you had is that you would never buy a lot of stocks. Like, right now you have a lot of stocks, but you would not buy a lot of stocks. And then you would invest invest capital in the shops, and your net worth would, like, not go up. And then he would win. He would win when he either A, didn't do that, or B, people actually landed on his shops. Why do you think he had a losing streak for so long? Because you found your stride? No, he had his losing streak start long before I got my winning streak. Huh. That said, I did find my stride, and it made him lose, like, three times in a row. He got last place all those times, I think. Uh, I'm, oh, guessing, wow, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing 10 will be enough. This is the thing you always did, Jero! No, but I mean, like, I have so much stock there already. Bear, okay, Jero, Jero, just, I'm going to say something, and if you still want to only put in 10 afterwards, that's fine, and I'll let you do it, but I do want to say this first. Um, if you put in money here, bear in mind, the stock price goes up, effectively doubling however much money you put in here, meaning if you put in as much as you can afford, there is no way to not profit off of this, unless you are, unless you then proceed to start selling 10 stock at a time. Good point. Yeah, fuck it, go all in. Yeah. That 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 is something that I've that's something I started doing and that's how I got my win streak. All right, do you want to land on my 101 or this unknown 310 barbershop? Uh... You can easily afford the either one, and you can also just. I said 310. Oh, I didn't hear you. Okay, uh, so are you gonna buy it? No. No? No. He said no, right, Rhino? Yeah, I said no. Okay. I was just making sure. I'm okay. glad because I couldn't tell either. <laughs> oh, also, at some point, Idle Dad got stock in your district, Jero. When the hell? You slimy slug. No, that's me, bitch. All right, Rhino? Rhino. I'm, I'm listening. Okay. You know these two shops I have that are in your way? I'm yeah. sorry, what? I'm willing to sell you each of them, but for each one, I want three times their shop value rounded up to the nearest hundred. Rounded up only if it's above 50. Otherwise, it just stays as is. Uh, cash or cash and shops? Uh, I'm gonna say cash and then because here's the thing you don't have you don't you have literally no shops I would want you have only two shops besides your the ones in your actually you know what you do have this one up here I do have that one up there so here's what I'm gonna say I will sell one of them to you for three times shop value rounded up to the nearest hundred if it's above so and so 50 and the other one I am willing to do a Since you'd be getting that shop up there is actually worth more than those other two down there. You'd be getting a domination, Rhino. I am not. What? No, I, I'm. I'm just saying when that comes to if you're calculating the value. Here's what I. Here's what I would say. Uh. All right. First off, uh, do you want to do one of the shops just straight up buying, and then the other one do a trade, and we barter on that one? Uh, I would like to. Or if you do it, uh, can you decide which shop you would do the shop trade for? So I can just figure this out easier. Can I just say, uh, I would not like to do both at this moment. I would just like to do one. All right. Which I would like to do the 38. Okay. And I would, I would like to trade for it. But if you want cash for it, I'll do that too. Oh, I'm going to want cash as well as the shop. Trust me. Okay, well, I get that part, but I, I, I was just it's... establishing which one you wanted. Okay, I don't want straight cash right here. I'm going to say... Well, let me open up the thing and see how this will go. 
so... Because I'm not even close to the domination there. I'm gonna say the, uh... Let's see. What would you say to trade shops and also you pay me uh, 230. So you're basically also paying me the value of my shop. Hmm. Could I persuade you to go down to 210? No. Okay. <laughs> I did the whole thing where I just worked out what our bartering would end up being if I started where I wanted to start. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> and admittedly, it would come out to like 240, and I'm just like, nah, let's just make it 230, because then it's just the shop value. It's basically, you're buying a shop, and then giving me a shop to get a domination. That's the way I see it. Okie doke. So you're fine with this? Yep. Alright. And at any point, uh, the deal for the other one remains. I will sell it to you for, currently, three times shop value. And we'll see if that ends up going up or down based on how often I land on your nuke. Okay. And other factors. I'm covering my ass by saying and other factors. Because that That's was meant enough. because that was meant as a joke. Ah. I don't plan on landing on your nuke again. Probably a wise thing. <clears throat> we barely didn't have enough on hand cash to get that. I could easily just sell one stock. I still have five in numerous places. I know, but it would have been so convenient if you had the on-hand cash. <laughs> in fact, you know what? I'm just going to keep that in there, so that as long as you're building this up, I'm going to get something out of it. That's fair enough. Literally, all I want is to get as high as possible. I know I'm not winning this, but I want to get you it... You've got to have them drugs, huh? But I want to get <laughs> it, But I want to get as high... All I want is to get as high as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a slime. I don't know how... I would have to, like, sit on the drugs and just absorb them. You know, That's how you, you know, become white slime. You sit you know, on the drugs. You know what would work perfectly for slime? What? Then you pretty much turn into jelly anyway by, by taking so much of it morphine. <laughs> That's fair. I like, mean, like I am in so much... You just see the top of the the top of the slime slurp down and then just, just sink to the ground while it's just relaxed. I mean, I am an extreme. Oh, so he becomes he becomes a, a slime puddle, or slime yeah. puddle. And, and yeah. that's actually a legit dragon monster. And to be fair, I am in extreme pain, as you can see. Yeah, and this, and, and, and this makes <laughs> this smile. You have no idea how much pain this smile covers. You, it, do you believe that is the face of mercy? <laughs> do you, did, did you guys see that one thing I posted? It was like a picture of a rock rough, and I just posted, does this look like the face of mercy? I remember that. And then someone needs to Photoshop a rock rough's face onto mercy. <laughs> <laughs> no, just a mercy's face on the slide. Does this look like the face of mercy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you going to roll, Rhino? Uh, Yes. You got a two! You land on the stockbroker square, so you can buy socks! That's what I wanted! How many socks? Where would you like to buy your socks from? That My district, please. Me. I still have to get that fucking other achievement for Orisa. You could buy 65 socks. Uh, do it. It has been done. You have a lot of socks, Rhino. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. I don't wash them as often as I should, just because I have so many I don't need to for weeks. I'm just gonna end up with a pile, and then I do a load that's solely socks. Dan, hey! does, Dan does not want to buy socks. Instead, he's gonna sell socks. He sold all his socks from Jero's land. You bitch. Now it's Jero's turn. Well, three. You're paying Ivo Dan. Less of two evils. What do you mean? Okay, oh, okay, you meet between the shops. Okay, I thought you meant between yeah. I, I thought you meant between Idle Dan and me. No! No, no, no. no, no between the shops, I even stay, I would have I would always go for you. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I can't tell. I'm pretty sure it's just a lie. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh so don't Shame on you, Jiro. Don't buy out. No. No to don't buy out, so buy out? <laughs> don't buy out. Don't buy out. I already said no, don't worry. And I get a boon! 
Jero, just so you know, I don't mean anything against you. I'm just saying this. My goal is to overthrow you before Rhino can get to the bank, because I think when he gets to the bank, he'll win. I don't know about that, but it'd be interesting if I did. Let's roll. I mean, you have a lot of stuff now, so I'm I, I feel like this promotion will be really good. Take you forever to get there, though. Want to buy this hat boutique for 320G? No, thank you. So, yeah, Jero, don't take this personally. I'm just saying it because I want to try to get second before this is over. It was worth points. Yeah. I mean, the points don't really matter as much since this is the final board, but, you know. And plus, this is on the spot where the points don't matter and the rules are made up. That's whose line is it anyway, stupid. This is on the whose line. <laughs> whose spot you know, honestly, is it anyway? <laughs> honestly, I, I feel bad if you guys didn't see today's episode roll, uh, because today's episode, John hey, was saved by a puppet Oh, you said roll. You said roll, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, you, you mixed it in with what you were saying so well. I thought, yeah, I, I thought, I thought you said something like, uh, I, I am sad if you guys didn't see today's episode of roll. <laughs> Right. Yeah, it's the, it's the it's the co-op show to Mega Man. <laughs> Wanna buy it out? I, 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 I thought that was gonna be I thought that was gonna be for critical role, but all right. Uh, also, uh, no. I, go, I I have a lot of trouble watching Critical Role just because D and D games that have more than like four or five players plus the DM. At that point, it just gets so complicated for me. I tried watching the first episode and I was like, I don't understand. Like, yeah, like the character good. stuff, not like the story. I feel like six people would still be a good amount. Maybe, but at that point, you're really stretching it, and you would have to have everyone be very different from each other. Also, I can buy stocks. At 10% below market value. So I'll buy them. Yay. What happened? Wait a minute. Wasn't I at 5,800 a moment ago? No. I, I don't think so, because Jero just paid you. I could have sworn I was at a point where I was like, I need another 400 to get above Jero. That's roll. Maybe, maybe I needed 1,000 and I was looking at it wrong. All right. All right, five. Whoop, okay. You can either land on my 56 or land on Jero's seven. Come on, Rhino, please. I paid you so much. I think either way, I wouldn't be able to just turn around and go back to my district. So, we will go to the 56. Yay! Are you going to buy me out so that I can beat Jero? You know, nah. the, sad thing, the sad thing is, you didn't get that heart, so... I mean, he has to suit yourself. I mean, I know, but I mean, he's going to be able to save that. Sell stocks or so Jero, stocks? I don't think the game is going to last for me to get another promotion. Yeah, Sell point. stocks? Uh, yes, please. Two will save you. Do it. Uh, and I made my island so nice. And all... Look, I visited there twice. You came and left! I got- I- I can't- I come for the free drink, man. <laughs> it's too tasty, it's all I come there for. Oh. Three! You're paying Idle Dan more money! More money to Idle Dan. Buy him out? No. Legendary H. Of course. <laughs> More money to Idle Dan. <laughs> Fuck. That's the new tune. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Idle Dan. <laughs> he, be he better at least not end up, like, getting above me in net worth. I Do you think Dan's just watching this just with amusement and how he's well he's doing? He's still watching! Well, I know he said the call, but do you think he's actually watching? Let's see, I'm gonna try to get a message beyond the Dan. Let's roll. Six. Dan, I speak to you from beyond. Do you have a message? Spruce things up. He, he, is, he yes. is watching, but it's not amused. <laughs> Where are you sprucing? Uh, let's see. They should all do the same, right? If you put 999 in, yes. Okay, uh, let's look at the 190. Hang on a moment. Okay, this would not make it six stars, I think. Oh, well, it might. Alright, but anyway, uh, 190. So it is the same. Okay, uh... Yeah, do that. 
That's an expensive bookshop. I feel we this sell hardcovers. I feel this was very anticlimactic. Oh! It was a very... S well, then. It was a very simple game. We're not even at two uh, hours yet. I know. I, that's why I'm not going to Let's sell stocks. 26 will save you and lower price by three. Eh. Uh... You know what? Uh... Eh, fuck it. Just do it. Alright. I was debating bailing out, but I was like, eh. All right, now it's Idle Dan. He gets a legendary H. And he pays me money. Yay! Less money to Idle Dan. <laughs> All right, Jero. Roll. Two! You're taking the day off. While Luigi ends this by taking a siesta. Ah, fuck this. What will you do, Slime? Six. Uh, sure, buy stocks, I guess. With your 35 coins. Well, congratulations, Slime. You left yourself exactly enough money to rub together. <laughs> Let's see what the heart can do for me as I create. You know what? Captain Planet? I'm just gonna block Rhino here and get number 45. Roll one, three, or five to warp to a ticket break square. Roll two, four, or six to warp to the arcade. Oh, will we get a last second arcade? Yep! Yay! But which arcade will I go to? Uh, Why? Why? <laughs> There's, okay, now, once again, I am reiterating, I am still fine with anyone winning. <laughs> but seriously, oh, wow. this game just decided to try to fuck me over as much as possible on the last board. <laughs> okay, I am a very amused how you're literally half the second wheel, though. <laughs> yeah. That's just just pointing out. I don't even get a spot anymore. <laughs> it's just all you. <laughs> it's a suit yourself card. To I wonder who. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was almost Jero. Yeah, I have, no. No, I have no use for this, though. Unless Rhino somehow loses a shitload of money. That rolls one. a one. Rolls a one. Let's roll. That's a five. Rhino wins! Woo! Oh, damn it! I gotta win. Took you long enough. Been a while, okay. It's been a while. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pick, kudos to I'll you, Rhino, the... but you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for landing on the nuke. I'll take I'm a second place. Where's my pen? All right, because I'm yeah. gonna read off. I'm gonna. You know what? I can easily just figure this out from here. Uh, all right. Dramatic point. All right. Here's the final score for everything overall. This. Okay. Do you want? Do you guys want the wins or the score first? Uh, let's do wins. All right, wins. Jero with six. Woo! Uh, no. Max with five. Oh. Rhino with four, and Dan oh. with three. Oh. The score. Jero wins with 31. Woohoo! I take second with 27. Rhino takes third with 26. And, oh. And Dan takes last with 24. So if you would have caught last, I would have passed you. Yeah. Or we would have tied. And that's how Fortune Street went. In the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Good, kudos to everybody involved. And let's give a round of applause. I still want to look at the stats before we cut out, though. Well, I was going to say, let's give a round of applause to Jero for the overall victory. In Woo! both yeah, categories. Well, in both we categories. Established, we established the canon that he is rich. In fact, <laughs> you guys want to know something interesting. I, to mm -hmm. I told this to Dan, and this is what he was talking about earlier. Uh, Rhino and Jero. This is why I didn't tell it to you beforehand. The only possible way that Jero would not have won would be if I took first and he took last, and that would just mean we tied. Whereas oh. Rhino and Dan, unless I took last and one of them got second, or I think maybe third for Rhino, uh, 
you guys basically would have been stuck relegated to third and fourth spots fi fighting out between those and the re so the reason i ended up not telling anyone besides dan was because i trusted him to not play any differently though he threatened to because i figured he did it play differently he left <laughs> i figured if rhino knew that he was going to be third or fourth anyway unless something crazy happened i figured that would make him not pay attention to the game at all and not care which would make it not fun and if Jero knew that he was guaranteed first as long as he didn't take last, he would have just done absolutely nothing except try to stall me out and just keep himself in third and focus on nothing else. Well, you're not wrong. That's fair. So I just kept it a secret because this meant that everyone had no idea what was going... We had a general idea, but everyone was basically like, I want to win, instead of, I want to get this. So wait, so well, wait. Okay, no, yeah, if you had won, we would have been tied in score and win. If I had won, we would have been tied in wins no matter what. And if I won and you took last, we would have also been tied in score. And I and I actually told Dan, if this happens, we're not doing a tiebreaker. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> tiebreaker, all vacant plots, maximum uh, victory be uh, money. Back Fuck. to Castle Trodane. <laughs> and and it, would be, it would be just you versus me with two AI. No, it would be you versus me, and then uh, there would be Rhino and Dan there, but they would have to pick a side. <laughs> oh, boy. It'd be, it'd, be, it'd, be, <laughs> it'd be Fortune Street, Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, real quick, Gerald, what side of Civil War are you on? Oh, uh, oh I'm a Captain Man. Yeah! Also, there's the scores. Look at that graph. We're gonna do great. <laughs> Oh my, how many sales did I, how did I have so many sales? Uh, you had a lot of cheap shops, I guess. And people didn't mind landing on them as opposed and, to like- the And look at other me! No, <laughs> D Jero and Dan had 14 payments each. They were the money givers. And so this is how it ends. I, I feel I feel like I have to say this one last time. All right. <clears throat> Waluigi windmill. He's not doing the windmill though. Okay. Okay. Then how about this? You can't tell what he's doing. He's behind uh, the button. Okay. How about this? Waluigi wins. Good enough. All right. <laughs> so, ending it off. Surprise is a mill. Ending it off. <laughs> uh, do we want to go in order for this board or just in order for the whole thing? I want to go in order of this board. Fair enough. All right. Dan's not here, but we had him. <laughs> and then there was Max the Slime. Gerald the Waluigi taking an honorable defeat for this board. Rhino the Kiro going out on a high note. <laughs> and kudos to everyone for all their plays, except for the times that Rhino took forever to tell me what he wanted to do, <laughs> and all the times that Jero set up shops that I landed on and had to pay a lot of money, and all the times Rhino and Dan did that too. And all the- and... <laughs> Alright, this was a very frustrating game, and I'm glad it's done, but it went out on a good high note, I think. Oh, and special thanks to our guest uh, player this, this time, Idle Dan. <laughs> Yay! The, the role of Idle Dan was played by Pip the Kitten. <laughs> <laughs> Except oh, Pip, the oh. is, Pip the Kitten is actually not here right now. Therefore, the role of Pip the Kitten was played by Derek the Hand Puppet. I was about to say that! <laughs> Isn't Pip the Kitten now Pip the Cat? She's always a kitten to me. <laughs> That's, That's fair. fair. That's fair. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. This has been Fortune Street. I hope you all enjoyed it. We are never playing this again. <laughs> what board game could be next? Join us next time for Monopoly! Fuck no. <laughs> oh, God. All right, fine. Join us next time for... Life. Oh, I mean, God. I would be fine with that. I'd be totally fine with that. No, 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 better. Let's, let's go with the actual war. Let's play Risk. No, I... <laughs> Join us next time for Life. It's actually Life. We literally just carry cameras around and vlog and see who vlogs the best. <laughs> oh, boy. It... Uh... It, uh, it, uh, audience interaction, voters can vote to win. Yeah, my, my flaws would have no words, it would just have dramatic panning shots of me doing things. <laughs> <laughs> I have vlog- uh, my, my vlogs would not- my vlogs would just be of the computer as I edit the previous day's vlogs. That or I'd have dog cam. Just attach a GoPro to Spectre. Exactly. <laughs>
Okay, we should probably oh. end this video now. All right, goodbye, everybody. Thank you for somehow sticking through with this to the end. Goodbye, Fortune Street. We will not, you will not be missed. And I will say this. Everyone put in my mention. Yay! Yeah. Can I come? Yes, you can come. I promise not to poison the punch again. But if you, if, you, if you take one dip in the pool, I'm, I'm getting my dogs after you. How would you know? He would blend in. <laughs> I would know that would be a smiley face on the top. Exactly. Oh, that's true, yeah. <laughs> We're I'm still trying to end the episode, guys! <laughs> oh, have you not yet? <laughs>